Hi, I'm Lakshman. In this video, I'll show you how to customize your Jekyll site. In our previous video, what we have done is we have just installed Jekyll application, and then uh, what we did is we generated a basic Jekyll site which looks like this. So we are up to here. So now, what I will show you in this video is I will guide you how to make changes to this basic uh, different contents of this site. So like uh, the site title, the description, everything and how it works from where you can change. Okay. So first of all what we need to do is we need to have one text editor. Text editor is an application that helps you to edit any kind of text like for example uh, there will be default notepad in your computer. So you can do with notepad also but it would be difficult so I suggest you to download applications like sublime text editor which makes really easy so go to google and search for sublime so this text editor is very popular click on download for uh, windows or any particularly we i am focusing on windows um, for this tutorial so uh, just download it it is just 8.5 mb so it, it must not take much while so after downloading this what you do is just you double click this uh, downloaded file .exe file and then it would be installed in in a short time ok so I have already installed uh, sublime text editor it's here sublime text 3 so now what we need to do is uh, in the previous video I have shown you where our Jekyll site is located in it will be basically in uh, our C drive and here you can see sites folder inside here um, our Jekyll's Jekyll site will remain so this was the site that we created last time uh, so uh, I need to open this in sublime text editor you can do it open with also or uh, the other option would be uh, you open the sublime text editor okay this is already opened here mm, what you can do is okay yeah so this uh when after installing sublime text editor you will see like this so what you do is uh, just drag this folder into sublime text editor and then it will get Im imported here so now any changes you made here will be directly mm, made upon this folder so so we you can do with this uh notepad also but I recommend you to do with sublime text editor or similar other kind of text editors because there will be code highlighting everything so it will be easier for you okay so after importing in sublime text editor what uh, you need to know how it works is like this is our main folder and these are the contents so Jekyll does not have so much of files and everything there is very um, limited files and everything so index.md so this is the index file that we see so this is uh, what mm, the index file that we are supposed to see so uh, uh, you need you, you can leave it as it is and md means markdown it is a format of file so what i want to talk about here is now let's go to config.yml so config means the configuration file so any changes mm, we are making here uh, would directly uh, give how the site give the looks look to the site how it will look like so uh, you can see here mm, let me make it oh, the font size bigger okay it's written your, your awesome title so let me rename the title is mm, knowledge server so as you can give it any name Okay. So description means what would go here, and this is what description means, and uh, this is the email address section. So let me just replace it with my description. YouTube channel with okay so this is uh, the description so like you can also 
for now you can just ignore this basic URL and URL so if you have Twitter username or GitHub username you can just paste it here and it will automatically convert so let me keep in mind likewise username GitHub username it's not essential but if you don't have you can just leave it empty like this okay and save it uh, while talking about the theme so Jekyll nowadays it has minima theme default installed so so this is the minima theme we are seeing it's look it looks very much minimal uh, okay so we have made changes on our config.yml so this changes should be reflected here so let me refresh so this is our local host so I have already started um, so you don't see any changes here what we need to do is okay we need to stop the server yes okay so uh, to come to this stage what you need to do is after you have installed the rails installer application you can see here command prompt with ruby on rails okay i'll show you once again mm, okay this one and then it will default directly into into the c sites then if you do a list you can see how the different projects we have made so let's move into the our um, site so we need to change the directory okay so we are currently inside our this site so now let's start the server so now i have stopped the server so this this is not available this would this is so like not available error things will be displayed okay now let's start the server so you can start the server with the kill yes so it would so our uh, the address at which Jekyll is mm, Jekyll has generated our site so you can, if I refresh you can see here the changes that I have made so I have changed my website's name into knowledge service server pros and then I just uh, entered these basic things so you can see the, here my twitter mm, username I have not entered github username so there's empty so similarly like in other case also so if I go to about and you can see the same thing here so th this is because of the theme and if I go into the post same thing so this is the header this is the footer okay so let me enter here the username so if I go here and refresh it won't work as you know we need to restart the server after changing the config file so you can stop the server by pressing ctrl and c and then if it acts like this then you can just say yes and then if you uh, press the up arrow then you can see the list of the recent command so okay so the changes have been deflected here it has automatically generated into the link so this is how the config file of mm, the kill works you can read a lot of things here like yeah, that's written how it works Mm, okay so uh, next thing is like modifying the about page so this is how it, the page in the kill work like uh, the extension is dot md so dot md means i have said already markdown so layout means uh, it will default uh, have some layouts like layout of page or post so we mention here page title of the page is about and permalink means this link like if I go here so you can see the link here so this is the permalink okay so let me just mm, replace it welcome to so like I have made changes in this page and it is reflected here so while making changes to other files other than config.yml we, we don't need to restart the server once again so after saving and if you go and refresh here it will be automatically reflected so this is a page and then this is a post 
so in this video this much so in next video i'll show you how you can add page how you can uh, add post mm, yeah so if you have any confusions you can leave the comment below in the comment section or i'll give the link of my blog uh, somewhere in the description so you can just check it whenever you like so thanks for watching have a good day have a good time take care bye bye